how do we add a file upload button to a form in Squarespace. We can do this using the Dropbox file request. This is actually a pretty brilliant feature that Dropbox offers. And you, um, if you don't have a Dropbox account, uh, I have a link here in this blog post and you can just create one for free. Um, and it's definitely worth it. And, uh, you know, so even if, you know, I think with the free plan, you get a certain amount of storage. If you need more, um, it's not that expensive, you know, to sign up for Dropbox, you know. I just think this is such a brilliant feature. So if you want to offer this ability to people, then this might well be worth doing. And you can definitely, you know, just try it out with a free plan first, you know, if you don't have one yet. So how do we do this? So the first thing we want to do is we want to add a form to our page in Squarespace. So I'm just going to go here and add my form here. And um, then I want to copy and paste this string here into a text field. So what I'm going to do is you have to go to edit form fields and then add field, select text, and then it will appear down here and it will also have added here on, on your form. And then uh, I click on text and then it's in the label field where you want to paste this string, you know, from my blog post. And you can see here now it's added it. And basically um, what you say here at the beginning, you can change this, of course, you know, so for instance, if you want people to upload a photo and you can see it will change it on here. And uh, also um, this is basically our upload button and we will customize that in a moment, you know, so that it actually looks like a button. And then if you want to change the text on that, you can, um, you know, add, change that here as well. So you could just say, you know, upload file, for instance, here and um, or click here, you know, so you have um, a lot of options here, you know, to make it what you want it to be. Um, the next thing we need to do is so where it says Dropbox URL in our string, we need to replace that now with the URL of our Dropbox folder. So we're going to go back to Dropbox. And then in your menu here on the left, you will see where it says file request and you just click on that and then click on new request. And then um, here, you know, you can just name it, you know, whatever you want. So it makes sense. Uh, now here it says set a deadline. I don't use that. That's more for if you actually send people an email with a file request, you know, but in our scenario, uh, we don't really need this, you know, then just click on create and this will now create the URL. So at this point, you could send this also to someone by email, uh, but obviously for our purposes, we just need the link. So we click on copy here and then we go back to our form. And then here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the Dropbox URL here. So there's two places where we have to do this. So just go forward a little bit and then here. Now make sure when you do this that you only delete the text. Don't delete any of the, uh, you know, the little quotation marks or anything like that. That is really important. Otherwise, um, it won't work properly. So we've done that and now we are just going to save our um, form. And now if I click on here, a window will pop up and then here I can add the files. So this is how someone can just add a file now. And uh, so let's actually do that. Let's add a file from the computer and, you know, let's just uh, do this here. Click on upload and voila, this is done. Now we can close this window again. And now if we go and look at our um, file request here, so now you can see we had, uh, you know, if we just go into it, here is the form, uh, here is um, the, uh, the document, uh, or in this case, you know, the picture that someone has uploaded. How brilliant is that? <laughs> and so, um, yeah, so this is just really nice. Um, now, finally, before I go, I want to show you how to customize the button. So we're going to go um, back to the blog post. And then at the bottom here, I have given you some CSS that you can use. So we're just going to copy that and then go into um, your custom CSS in the design section. And, uh, and then you're just going to paste that in here. Now, this is not going to do anything because we actually also want to target our page ID, our collection ID. 
Uh, and that is, you know, because I want this to only apply on this particular page. If you don't need that, you know, if you want to um, use this method on any form on your website, then you could, for instance, just uh, delete this. And you can see now it's changed this to a button look, you know, or, you know, in, oops, sorry. Um, but in our case, you know, you could also use, uh, I'm linking in the blog post to this very nifty Chrome extension, which identifies, uh, you know, um, block IDs and collection IDs uh, on your page. So up here, I have my collection ID. I just click on that and then uh, just do them away again. And then I'm just going to delete this and paste what I just uh, copied. And so now this will only be applied on this page on a form. And then you can just go and uh, customize this. So in the code here, you can change the background color, you know, give it the color of your branding color. You can also change the border radius here, you know, so for instance, if I want to make this all a little bit uh, bigger, you know, make it a bit of, uh, oh, actually make it, sorry, make it a bit rounder, you know, I can do it li like this. Um, you can also change the padding, you know, if you want to make the button a little bit larger, then you just play around with the padding numbers here. Um, you can also change the font size, you know, I mean, this way you can make it really big, but you can see actually if you make, if you add too much padding, for instance, it interferes with the text field, you know, below. So I would actually, you know, probably not do that, you know, and uh, just kind of leave it where it was, you know, so that it looks a little bit back better. Um, but yeah, so you can just play around with, you know, how you want to customize the font in here and just kind of make it your own. Uh, so that is just like really nice and easy. And then you just save that. And now you will see this on your form. The other thing that I wanted to show you is you can also, if you go back into your form and go back to your text field, um, and if you go through that, you can also change the size of the window that pops up, you know, because that is also um, a parameter that we have in here. And you have to go like, uh, all the way to the end. So let me just do that. Let me just find this. It's a bit tedious having to scroll through this. So here, this is our pop-up window width, you know. So for instance, if I wanted to make it smaller, I could just change. So these are pixel um, dimensions. I could just change that and save this. And now if I click on this, you see, now it's actually much smaller. But because it kind of pushes this into the corner, you know, I like it to be actually bigger because now people have to like scroll through this, you know, so I wouldn't want that. I think the dimension that we have in there is perfectly fine. And that is all there is to it. I hope this was helpful.